wonder how our Hawaii street got its name? Well, every Thursday we have our Aloha Authentic segment to bring awareness to Hawaii's culture. In this week's segment, Kamakapili takes us to a side street in Waikiki named after Hawaii's last ruling monarch. Here he is. Aloha mai, it's Kamakapili. We're here in the Ahupua of Manoa in the Moku of Kona here on Oahu in this area we know as Waikiki to talk about this street that gets its name from Hawaii's last ruling monarch, Queen Liliuokalani, Liliuokalani Avenue. Now born as Lydia Liliu Loloku Walania Wevehi Kamakaeha, Queen Liliuokalani gets her royal name from her brother, King Kalakaua, when he named her heir to the throne of the kingdom because he didn't have any children. Now every ali'i in our history really hold their own trials and tribulations during their reign. And for me personally, Queen Liliu definitely has her own stories to share when it comes to trials and tribulations. As she was the one to be illegally overthrown and the kingdom being overthrown in the year 1893 from the American government, imprisoned in her own room, in her own palace, and that led to the annexation of Hawaii, which eventually statehood took place in 1959. Did you know? Now you do. And joining us now with more behind the history of Lilio Kalani Avenue is Kamaka Pili. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Aloha. Thank you. For the longest time, I said her name wrong, and I would say Lilio Kalani, but yeah. it's Lilio Okalani. Yes. Yes. So when did the queen reign over the kingdom of Hawaii? So the queen took the throne following her brother's passing, King Kalakaua, in 1891, and that lasted until January 17th, 1893, when the overthrow took place. And speaking of the overthrow, very important, what led to the overthrow? Well, it, long story short, it really was, you know, when the queen became queen, one of the first things she wanted to do was restore the power that had been taken away from the monarchy and return it to the Hawaiian kingdom. And that was because of the constitution at the time, which is known as the Bayonet Constitution, was forcefully signed by King Kalakaua in 1887 at the at gunpoint, at Bayonet Point, hence the name Bayonet Constitution. That constitution was written by a lot of the American business people and sugar plantation owners mm -hmm. and forced the king to sign it and that's what took away a lot of the power, giving it to the business owners. Queen Lili Oklani didn't like this, so, and they knew Queen Lili Oklani didn't like this, so when she took the throne, the sugar plantation owners, fearful of losing the revenue and all the personal profit they've been um, getting, kind of partnered up with the United States military to instigate this overthrow and to create this battle or war against the queen. But the queen didn't want, we all know that um, she didn't want bloodshed of her people. She didn't want her people to die. So she sovereign or, or gave up the sovereignty of, of her power and her throne at that point, January 17th. So 19th. a big sacrifice, basically. Yes. And she was imprisoned in her palace? In her own palace. What happened? How did it all lead to that? Oh, chicken skin, just thinking of it now. But So we talked about earlier in, in this series with Prince Kuhio and Kalaniano Ole Highway. Right. He was part of this group known as the Hawaiian Royalists. And this group of royalists tried to rebel against the, uh, the government. And this was two years after the overthrow in 1895. They were unsuccessful, but the government had assumed or, or told the queen that she had been... Uh, knowledgeable about this revolution going on, which was never proven, mm -hmm. but they had forced her to relinquish all future powers to the throne. They had put her through this whole trial in front of a military tribunal in her own throne room and made her give up everything. And because wow. of that, they actually convicted her of five years of imprisonment, of hard labor, which fortunately didn't turn out to be that crazy in the long run. So for five years, she was imprisoned in the palace. It actually turned out to be about eight months eight in months. one of her rooms in her palace that she was like in a house imprisonment, house wow. arrest. Wow, very interesting. And where can we actually catch up and learn more about the queen? Well, there's, there's many places, Kamehameha School, uh, Queen Lili Ookalani actually has a trust, a Queen Lili Ookalani trust, which is now, in a, I believe, Lili Ookalani trust, but their website shares a lot about that as well. She's such an important figure in Hawaiian culture and yes. history and in the monarchy. Very knowledgeable, and, and to think of how our Ali'i thought about their people back then, and they ruled in such that manner that we don't see it as much today as right. they did She back sacrificed then. a lot for yeah. her people, and she was a woman, so I love that even more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kamaka, thank you so Mahalo. much for sharing more history about that. Thank you.